Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Hello, my name is Ludovic. Uh, today I want to demonstrate you the installation of Bacula Enterprise installation, their main components that will permit you to run backup jobs and restore jobs through our GUI called BWeb. We will use Oracle Linux 8 for that purpose, but many other platforms and operating systems are available to run our main components on Linux. First, let's jump to the customer portal, which is your welcome area where you will find a lot of information. And also you have here the documentation, which is the best place to start on installing Bakula. You have the fundamentals here, entries. I advise you to go and run uh, run it, uh, read through it, because you will understand better how the main components are playing with each other. And of course, today we will jump to the installation. We explain what we will do on those installations. As I told you, we need a Linux uh, operating system because our two components, the director and storage daemon, run only on Linux. Many operating systems, uh, many platforms, many distribution, but on Linux. And what we will do, we do the easy way, uh, I would say, where we will use BIM, Bakula Installation Manager, in order to install Bakula Enterprise. You can go for through Package Manager, but this one is for more advanced people, and let's use BIM. Here you have the requirements about BIM. Please note that you have to need access to your system as root or have sudo access, and you need to have Python 2.7 installed in order to run Bacula Installation Manager. Let's go through the first steps to run BIM in order to install Bacula Enterprise. The first step is obviously to move to CLI on your laptop or desktop that you run and to connect to, to the machine, to the operating system you want to install Bacula Enterprise main component via SSH. You have many different tools to do that, obviously. We will move to slash TMP, download beam through curl. Once done, we want to make it executable, which is shown here by having BIM, PEE Installation Manager, as executable. Okay. Once we have done this, we'll jump on installing the director. Please note the director is the main component with the storage daemon, and they come both together all the time. So to do that, we will run beam with the uh, parameter dash t for dir, dash t dir for the director. It recognizes that we run an Oracle Linux server 8.8 .8 and that we can press start to start. Yes, we will install the Bacula director. And we will here need to find the download area of our subscription, the URL of our download era, so we can download the packages uh, here. Please jump back to your customer portal, jump on customer portal, go to these icons, which is your subscription, basically, and jump to the end of it where you will see your download area URL. You can copy and paste it and then jump back to your CLI. Please copy and paste the information, the URL you have just copied from your customer portal. It recognizes here there is only one version of Bacula Enterprise, which is the latest today. Uh, so we will choose this one, but you may have different uh, version if you will not be a new customer or running a POC. And we have a set of plugins or products that are available to be installed on the director. Today we will just use BWeb, which is the GUI, so I press 1 to specify BWeb. We will set up a password for the, for the access to BWeb, so I will put a password. 
Uh, of course, we want to let Beam manage the firewall rules for the installation of those components, the directory, the storage daemon, and Bweb. We will choose the firewall dash cmd by default. That runs very well. And here uh, we have a summary of what we asked Beam to do. And of course, we will continue with what we have here. So here it will take a bit of time because we will download all packages. It will go and run the dependencies that are needed for Backward Enterprise. Please note, Backward Enterprise comes with a few packages to be installed one, and BIM has the power to manage all this by itself. We can see now that uh, Bakula Enterprise uh, uh, is installed and that we can reach out to our Bweb uh, installation on this address. Let's copy it. You can also go and connect here and type sudo u bakula b console to access the CLI b console command, but we will not go through that. That's a more, bit more advanced. Let's go through bweb. Of course, here we install a cell site certificate, so please go and trust uh, this certificate. You put the admin username that you had to set up a password for, and I put my password. And I'm accessing Bweb. There is a welcome screen uh, that permits me to set up a few main settings here. And that's what we installed. The director, the file daemon, of course, that goes always along a new operating system. This is the agent, basically. Uh, the storage daemon console and the catalog. The catalog is a key piece because it contains all the data you will have picked at mid there it's metadata and so on. So we click next. Here we have a connection checking between everything. We have seen it's all green, it's perfect. And here we would like to automate the configuration of Packer Enterprise so we can edit configuration of uh, of, of any agent, jobs, etc. So we click next. It prepares the configuration of those files configuration is completed and here you have few options that you can activate or not. We will keep it as it is by default but you may be interested to have job logs in, in consoles and job logs sent per email. We have other way to monitor jobs uh, and uh, that's treated under another uh, part of the documentation uh, we have. So we click next. Here again, we invite you to go and read some part of the documentation as well as doing some action that you would like to go first for. We can run a predefined backup jobs typically and, uh, and so on. But here I would like to welcome you to continue training Bakula with Bweb from here on. And we will produce other videos on how to make progress from here. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward to meet you again in the next video. Bye-bye. I hope this overview has been helpful in explaining the components of Bacula Enterprise Edition. If you want to learn more or to try Bacula Enterprise yourself, go to our website, baculasystems.com, and click Try for Free. You can also visit our YouTube channel for more videos and links. Thank you.